All right, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Seiko, and as y'all just saw, the car just stalled on us, and it has crappy island and the boost, the PSI stuck on zero. So, those of y'all with turbo cars or the twin turbo 300s, y'all probably should know why I did that. Um, so I was driving home, and I was like, "Yeah, was like they did mention something about intercooler piping, this and that." I'm like, "Okay." Then Jose said, "Well, let's drive right it." And then I was like, you know what? I said, I thought about it. I called Jose. I was like, hey, I said, it probably is your intercooler pipe because the day it, I heard something pop on this car, I thought it was just the fuel line pop because the fuel line has a little split in it. And it leaked a little fuel. I'm like, okay, I said, it's like gas. And then I thought it was a tire. So apparently it wasn't the tire. It was one of the intercooler piping uh, that's on the driver's side. And I seen a little piece of black a rubber piece fly from up under the car I'm like oh man I thought that was just a tire but the car still was driving fine so apparently this whole time when we were building boost that probably wasn't even the full boost because I ain't gonna lie when we ever since we did the PC valve the, the PCV valves on this car man this car opened up so much and it's like it's opened up so much to the point where I'm like god leave man I like I gotta go turbo or something on the black seat because right now that car we still doing, you know, the heads and we still got cam gears and all that stuff. So, yeah, so I'm like, damn. And it, when it opens up, it like, it keeps going. That's what's crazy. That probably just, it gave us a taste of it, but it wasn't putting out its full potential because this car is like, no lies, it's a beast on top of him. So. Yeah, that's basically going to be today's agenda. We're going to try to take this front bumper off. Maybe Carl will come by. I'm, I'm not sure. He might come by. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore. Yeah, I'll just stick around.
Oh, yeah, so far, so good. That's how the car's looking. Uh, so basically, this is where the intercooler is, and I have to see, uh, you know, where the piping runs. I have to get a diagram of that. I never change the intercooler on these, so I'm just gonna figure out the diagram on it and go from there which it looks pretty straightforward i've seen a couple videos like of people i watched like danny z i watched him change out his intercoolers because he went a bit bigger intercoolers regardless either way it went and yeah so that is no lie you guys i know that probably won't take a lot of pressure no more after all of that new breather mods we've basically been doing so look at all that you know that's not <laughs> hasn't been touched cobwebs that's even dirty. I don't know how. Cobwebs, all of that. It's just, whew. Yeah, you know, it, it's time for it. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. It's time for it. So, yeah. So, I might stop the video right here and uh, pick up with this tomorrow, so. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this first section. So I'ma have to check the vacuum lines too as well, those little bitty vacuum lines. Cause mm, could be a possible chance it was one of those, which I'm not sure. Or it can be just a little module, the base, the base, not the base, but the boost sensor. Reference, basically. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's this little module. Hold on, let me fix it for you guys. <laughs> this right here all right guys so they are here you're gonna see how they look how y'all doing guys we got we got a lot of content coming in too we got a lot but we're gonna be busy for real for real yeah Whatever he said, and there they are. <laughs> Boy, what an upgrade. Now that's what you call a breather mod. Sheesh! Come on, let's go compare them to the other. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's black. That's okay. <laughs> oh, that don't yeah, matter. Don't All right, guys, so the new intercooler is here. So here's the comparison. This is the big, big difference, and he definitely is going to need a tune for sure. This thing is going to, you can hold it, instead of putting it on the wheel. I mean, it's a little heavy, but it's okay. Hold one. <laughs> hold on, you guys. All right, you guys, here's the big difference. This is the Z1, what, two and a half inch intercoolers? No, I forgot what size it was exactly. You forgot the size? Yeah. Wow. Anyways, whatever these are, I know they're not three inch. Three inches a bit taller, I believe. The one from uh, Concept Z, I believe. But look at that! You can put my whole, you can put your whole hand literally on there. Compared to this, <laughs> that's the factory. This is the aftermarket. The other thing is going. Whew. I'm ready to see the difference. There's ready. already a difference. I can do weightlifting with this one, and with this one is just yeah, that's lighter, and then this one is going to be heavier. Which, I mean, it don't matter at the end of the day because it definitely needs a breather mod. Yes. So and No more restraining this car. Nah. So basically, either be ready to go full boat on and the hoses and everything else is in the house. So, yeah. Uh, What's up, you guys? Um, So, right now what I'm doing, uh, I'm headed to the AutoZone place to get a vacuum line. Um, Speaking of that, I need to get that. Make sure I get the right size because you never know. Uh, so, basically, I see one thing that could be our solution to uh, about the PSI not building boost is because I see one vacuum line is missing. And I'm not sure what does it run to. And it's this one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
that one right there where that nipple is right there on my finger the tip of my finger that right there uh should have a vacuum line running from there to one of these uh pipe one of these little uh inlets these little pipe inlets uh i'm not sure but maybe that could be the issue and then back here i seen this vacuum line right here had popped off so what i did i put a smaller vacuum line a little tighter one basically to the point where it ain't gonna slide off easy because that's what was happening with this one with any vacuum line because they dry it and it's stuck kind of open so now what we're going to do is go ahead and replace this uh vacuum line for the booster to know it uh this those of you that don't know this is where the booster to know is located at right here on the driver's side of the uh brake master cylinder and yeah so this broke off not the not the uh solenoid nipple but the the vacuum line hose basically it broke off i'm gonna show you with a little piece because it was very 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 right well basically the tip of this broke off and look at that it can't even can't even do nothing to that it can't even squeeze it down like this so and that's it just like that make sure this coupler was on right uh because it was kind of fitting weird and you know like you got i'm probably take the bash bar off so i can get a better look of it so that's now that's how it's looking looks small on camera but in the picture i mean in you know in uh person dude that that's a beefy intercooler and i'm ready to see what this is going to do now I'm gonna go and finish up this side and I'm not gonna start it today so I'm gonna have to try my best to make sure everything's still all hooked up and nice and neat and uh, go from there. Then I'll fire it up and I'll slap everything back on there. But for now, yeah, we got uh, <laughs> we got quite a bit done. It might seem a lot to y'all, but honestly, truly, the bumper, the fender, and the fender well we took out, which I told him he got to keep that. And also, this reservoir he tried to take out, all of that is going to be basically plug and play. So, I had no attention. So, 
this video, uh, you know, is kind of scattered. Trust me, I know. I know because it's been up and down, up and down. Like I told you, I've been ripping and running. So, and just focusing on helping Jose with his vlogs and stuff. So, yeah, but other than that, you guys, this thing should be back to normal. Uh, fingers crossed. Like, no lie, fingers crossed. I got a new boost uh, solenoid vacuum line hooked up. I got the vacuum line that was situated out. I mean, got that situated. The one that was just sitting back there from when we took the plenum off. And I got that windshield wiper figured out. So now the hood should be able to spray the water. The windshield flew it out. So it's just, yeah, hopefully everything's back to normal because it won't idle, it's bad, and it should be a good, uh, feel PSI. And you should hear a lot of pressure coming from these blow valves, now for sure. After this new breather mod, I told him, and this turbo part is this gets a breather mod, it always ends up having another issue with it. So you always have to basically treat these cards as if they, you know, I don't know, you guys. So, yeah, you guys. So, I'm going to finish the other side up for y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next.